The Songbird Seed Pod Base C Pendant might be the most affordable Base C ocarina on the market. But is this affordable ocarina worth using? Let's dive in. The Seed Pod Base C is available on Songbird Ocarina for $73. Use code ANDY10 for 10% off. This ocarina is a six hole pendant in the key of C, though I say pendant to refer to its fingering pattern because this thing is way too big to wear as a pendant or a necklace that is. Like the attached strap is even a wrist strap, not a neck strap. That's how big it is and that's how much it's dissuading you from wearing it as a necklace. This ocarina has a fully chromatic range of an octave and a third from C4 to E5. And the Seed Pod Base C comes in three colors, Jade Crackle, Strawfire, and Brushed. I have the Strawfire option. And no matter which color you get, the Ocarina comes in a really nice, large padded box with a satin lined interior. $73 for a base C Ocarina with such nice aesthetics as well as a really nice box? That's a hard deal to beat. Even Imperial City, arguably one of the most affordable makers out there, charges more for their base C Ocarina at $106, though it is a 12 hole transverse rather than a six hole pendant. Price and aesthetics are fantastic on this Ocarina, how does it sound? We'll compare it with my Imperial City Triple Base C since I don't have any other Base C ocarinas other than these two. So I'll do a scale and a quick song. Wow, I'm so surprised. Songbird made a very good ocarina. This very much has the Songbird standard of quality. It's a really good ocarina. As for specific notes on the ocarina, the tone, very solid. Breath pressure on the lower side of medium, and you need more breath pressure as you ascend the scale, but not too much. It's a very relaxed ocarina on your breath. Playability, very nice. Ergonomically, it's quite nice as well. The flat bottom of the ocarina lets you use your ring fingers to support the ocarina when you lift your fingers off for high notes. There's really not much else to say in terms of a neutral, here's the specs type of review, so we'll go over who this ocarina isn't for, as well as who it is for. This ocarina is fantastic, but it's not for everyone. Here's why. First, a base pendant ocarina is a little bit awkward. In general, I prefer transverse ocarinas, so I'm not a huge fan of using a base pendant. It's heavier than I expect from a pendant, and in terms of lifting up all of my fingers for high notes, while there is the nice flat bottom for support with my ring fingers, it is still a little bit scary to lift all my fingers off. I would argue that it is generally easier to support a transverse ocarina with no fingers covering holes. And on top of that, most transverse ocarinas do have a wider range than pendants. This has an octave and a third. Most transverse ocarinas have at least an octave and a fifth or sixth. If this were a 12 hole base C, it would have a range of A4 to to F5 instead of the actual range of C4 to E5 on this instrument. Furthermore, this boy is round and bulbous, making him very, very bulky. Because it's so round, even though this ocarina isn't particularly heavy as base ocarinas go, it's really bulky in whatever way you store it. This bulbous shape will not fit into most, if not any ocarina cases that you might have. So in order to protect this ocarina for storage or for travel, you're gonna need the box. And the box is incredibly large. Like my triple base C from Imperial City in its padded case is easier to store and travel with than this box. The padded case may be wider and a little bit taller, but the box is so much thicker and overall bulkier. This padded case contours to the shape of the ocarina, whereas this box is a box. That said, while the box is bulky, if you're in a pinch and are traveling with this ocarina, it is an effective protective measure with its padding and its difficulty to open. Last, weirdly enough, I wish this ocarina had a neck strap instead of a wrist strap. With my Imperial City Triple Base C, while you should not wear this as a necklace for extended periods of time, you can adjust the neck strap to actually use your neck to help support the heavy weight of the instrument while you have precarious high notes with very few fingers 
on the ocarina. Many ocarinists don't like using neck straps because they can get in the way of your playing of the instrument, but considering how heavy bass ocarinas can be, they can also be useful to help support a little bit extra weight and to make it less risky when you don't have as many fingers attached. Oh my god, I'm supporting the ocarina with just my neck right now and it is too heavy. But if I tighten the neck strap a little bit, the ocarina is higher up on my neck and I get a little bit more support when I'm doing stuff like stuff where I'm literally not covering any fingers. Obviously the strap issue is very much personal preference and really not that big of a deal, but I think given this is a pendant ocarina, I get that you would have a wrist strap considering the size, but it would be nice to have a neck strap to have a little bit of extra security and support. So the Seed Pod Base C from Songbird might not be for you if you prefer transverse ocarinas and their wider range. Need a more space efficient and less bulky ocarina to take with you while you travel, considering how large the box is. And if you'd prefer a neck strap over a wrist strap, though you can just swap out the straps if that's really, really a big deal to you. But who should buy this ocarina. While the Songbird Seed Pod Base C, once again use code Andy10 if you're interested in it, is not for everyone, it is certainly a worthwhile ocarina. Here's why. If you enjoy pendant ocarinas or you even prefer pendant ocarinas, this is perfect. You get a relatively quiet, deeper pendant ocarina. Most pendants are typically in the range of soprano, so if you play, their bright, piercing high notes might not be the most quiet way to practice. If you have roommates, if you live with family, if you are traveling, whatever, a bass ocarina will be less intrusive in terms of its loudness and piercing pitches than a soprano pendant. So if you are an enjoyer of pendant ocarinas, this may be for you. Similarly, if you are on a tight budget and really need a bass ocarina, even if it's not transverse, the $73 price tag for this ceramic bass ocarina is quite literally the best deal you can get if you need a bass ocarina. The economics of this ocarina are exactly why I purchased it several years ago. This is the best priced bass ocarina there is other than a couple plastic bass ocarinas from I think STL. Yes, given its pendant, the range is limited compared to a 12 hole or multi-chamber bass ocarina, but a bass ocarina is a bass ocarina and you might not even need the extra notes that a 12 hole has. And considering the price, this ocarina has surprisingly good tone and stylish presentation. So for your next multi-part ocarina, ocarina recording that needs a bass ocarina or just to round out your collection, this could be perfect for you. However, if you do strongly prefer transverse ocarinas, I would recommend that you wait and save up the extra 35 or so dollars to buy the Imperial City 12 hole bass C or something multi-chamber or from another vendor. More or less, if you're a pendant fan who doesn't mind the bulk and needs this for particular recordings or for your collection, go for it. $73 is a really good price. The Seed Pod Base C is not perfect for everyone, but it's really good for some people. This is kind of a weird niche ocarina. It's the most affordable ceramic Base C. You can make it even more affordable with code Andy10. And it does have a fantastic tone, but its quirks like the really bulky box and strange shape of the ocarina, as well as the limited pendant range, make it not the right pick for everybody. And that's okay. Not every ocarina is for every ocarinist. So after watching this review, do you think the Seed Pod Base C from Songbird is for you? Let me know in the comments. While you're at it, consider watching my review of the Triple Base C from Imperial City. And check out patreon.com slash andycormier. Otherwise, leave a like, subscribe for more, watch that video next, and I'll see you next time. Happy tootin'.